Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Welcome to this short presentation on Netcall Omnibus Process Automation. The example environment used in this presentation was Red Hat Linux 7.3 with the latest version of Netcall Omnibus. There are three processes being placed under process control. The process control process NCO underscore pad manages processes and performs external actions. For this example, the NCO underscore PA dot comp file will be configured to manage an object server, an MTRAP D probe, and a generic 3GPP probe. Notice that the generic 3GPP probe is made up of two physical processes. The NCO underscore PA dot conf configuration file lists individual processes first and then defines the services with the defined processes in. By default there is an inactive processes service for placing deactivated processes in. The process definition statements hold a process name and the command to run to start the process along with other properties such as host and retry count. In this example the object server is run as the netcall user nrv81. For a probe process, the minus props file command line option is used to set the probe properties. The empty trapd probe can be run as root from nco underscore pad only if the nco underscore pad process itself is run as root. In this example, the empty trapd probe is run on a port greater than 1024, which does not require root access. The generic 3GPP probe can be run in the same manner as other probes. The command run is always the probe script for Unix installations. Sometimes it is necessary to run binaries directly, but this type of configuration requires additional environment settings that are performed by the scripts. Once the processes are defined, the services can be defined. These are typically grouped functionally. In this example, the object server is placed in the call service and run as the master service. There should only be one master service per NCO underscore pad process. The probes are placed in a separate service in this example. Both of the services are configured to start their processes automatically with no options set. The inactive process service is not started automatically. The routing section is used to make NCO underscore pad processes aware of each other to allow interaction. Because of this, it is recommended that all of the processes and services are defined uniquely. For this example, the routing is defined for just the local process control process with no user limitations. Typically, NCO underscore PA dot props uses the default settings. However, it is best to define the retry time and rogue timeout. In this example file, all of the required settings are provided. Note that the PID file is relative to Omni Home. Increasing the number of allowed connections to 100 is useful when external actions are being used. In the example configuration, PAM is being used to authenticate users. To allow this Unix needs to be configured. NCO admin is the default group, so adding the user nrv81 to this group provides the user with access to nco underscore pad. In order to authenticate the user, PAM needs to access the system files. Creating PAM files with the file names netcall and nco underscore obj serve allows processes to authenticate via the PAM modules. The object server property file needs to have the nco underscore pad user defined to allow external actions to work. The user's Unix password needs to be encrypted using nco underscore pa underscore crypt. Once everything is running, the nco underscore pa commands can be used to check what processes are running and manage the processes and services. In this example, the processes are all active, indicated by the string running. The external action functionality can be checked using a copy of the mail on critical trigger. In the trigger update the condition to check for poll being 1 and the event being acknowledged. Once the event is actioned, set poll equal to 2. Replace the nco underscore mail script with a simple echo of the date to a file. 
find or create a suitable event with all the fields set except for acknowledged either manually update the event or use the GUI to set acknowledged equal to one check the value of the poll field for the event after a minute check the nco underscore mail dot log file to confirm the script was called nco underscore pad can be configured to run whenever the system is rebooted for red hat this is done by using the startup script linux 2 x86 install the script needs to be run as root and requires the net called omnibus environment after being run the nco startup script is added to the slash etc slash init dot d directory as well as the general configuration there are a few bits and pieces that are useful to know when performing lots of external actions increasing the number of open files is required processes can be set as pa not aware the nco pad process can be run without any need to authenticate the user you can set the number of open files for a shell using the binaries n file. For nco underscore pad, create or edit the nco underscore pad dot m file and add in the required setting. Check the value is set by using echoes and the minus version option. pa not underscore pa underscore aware is used for scripts and processes that are unaware of the process control process. The unix strings command can be used to check a netcall omnibus binary to see if it is PA aware or not. NCO underscore pad can be run with the minus authenticate none option. This disables the need to use authentication when running commands against the NCO underscore pad process. However, the user still needs to be a member of the NCO admin group. This is useful where the NCO underscore pad process is being used locally on a secure system. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.